Yo guys, what's up? Kalen here and welcome back to another video on the channel. As you guys can see, we're an ultimate team and today we're going to be reviewing Bukayo Saka. So heading into the player bio, he's 5 foot 10 tall, high to medium work rates, left footed primarily, with 4 star skills and a 4 star weak foot. The price of this World Cup Freedoms card, he is going for around 100k, which is kind of expensive, but in my opinion, it is a kind of a fair price looking at the stats on the card. Heading into the alternative positions, he has right mid, left mid and right wing. Kind of annoying that he can't play left wing, but I guess it is what it is. Anyway, like I said, heading into the stats, the pace is going to go up to 95 with the Hawk Chem style. Shooting, attack positioning is going to go up to 96, finishing up to 90, shot power up to 89, long shots up to 85, and penalties up to 83 as well. Passing on the card looks pretty solid, it's got 86 vision with 87 crossing, 85 short pass and 85 curve. Long passing looks absolutely horrendous, which is pretty surprising. When it comes down to the dribbling, the dribbling looks absolutely sensational. It's got 88 agility and balance, 87 reactions and ball control, 89 dribbling and 84 composure. So I'm expecting this guy to feel very good on the ball considering the acceleration, agility, balance, dribbling and ball control. The defending is pretty good as well. Heading accuracy is very bad, but stand tackle is decent, slide tackle is decent, defensive awareness and interceptions are also pretty decent as well. Physical on the card does get a plus 8, taking up to 70 jumping, 92 stamina, so he's definitely going to last the whole game. He does have 71 strength and 84 aggression, so he should feel kind of strong on the wall. Well, not kind of strong, but he should hold his ground against some players. But anyway, I'm going to play this guy at cam and striker and centre mid in a 4 on 2 on 2 narrow. And without further ado, we're going to jump straight into the gameplay highlights with World Cup Phenoms Bukayo Saka. So straight off the bat here, we have the ball with Yuri Tielemans. He gets the pass from that man Mascherano, I think it is. De Bruyne has it here, back into Mascherano, back into De Bruyne. Saka with a very good touch into closer and he's able to tuck it away and Bukayo Saka does get an easy assist. Some really good awareness from Bukayo Saka there, just to drop into the space and lay the pass off to closer to get that assist. But anyway, moving on to the next clip, some excellent Tiki Taka football. 1-2 with De Bruyne and Damsgaard, 1-2 with De Bruyne and Saka. And Saka does get the pass back from De Bruyne, cuts inside, finesses it and scores. Excellent link up play, just showcasing. Basically the good stuff on the card. The link up play is a huge plus. That flick around the corner to De Bruyne is not easy at all. It was weighted to perfection and he knows what the space is. He just drops into it yet again to receive the pass and scores. Here again, peels out wide, gets past Mendy. Can we get a goal here? We're going to try to finesse it. Didn't really work out. He blocked it at the last second. But Cancelo somehow and for whatever reason was in the box and he scores the rebound from that shot. Heading on to the next clip, Tielemans gets it into Bukayo Saka. Just going to test out the dribbling here. Can he keep it? Yes, he can. Brilliant dribbling and a smashing pass out wide to Cancelo. Cuts it back. Damn card shot is blocked and unfortunately, we couldn't score from it. But heading on to the next clip, we are going to score from this. Brilliant tackle by De Bruyne. Falls to Saka. Cuts inside. Outside foot shot and he scores once more. Brilliant finish and it's 4-3 in this game. But unfortunately, we couldn't score any other goals. Heading on to the third match, if I'm not mistaken, of this video, De Bruyne has it, very good dribbling there, gets it into Kyle Walker, is Bukayo Saka going to peel off at the far post, yes he is, brilliant run made from him, and a very good cross from Walker, and a corresponding finish to match the cross with Bukayo Saka. Heading on to the next goal of this game, Bukayo Saka has it, can you create a chance here, went for goal, <laughs> didn't really work out, but look at the strength, great physical from him, Mastrano finds Dan's guard, he gets past that man, and tucks it away, but all that possible because of that strength from Bukayo Saka, I did mention it is pretty decent earlier on, and well, it is clearly pretty decent. On to the next clip, good run from Saka, and he then smashes it into the top corner, and we got a gritty on this guy because he has gritty on us several times throughout this match. But anyway, moving on to the next game, Mascherano has it, gets it into Kyle Walker, and this is with Bukayo Saka in the camp position, by the way, he has the ball, good link up play, gets it into De Bruyne, he finds closer, back to De Bruyne, Saka continues his run, takes a touch, goes for goal, and finds the bottom corner, ridiculous, Tiki Taka football once more, and honestly, Bukayo Saka with a very calm and composed finish. On to the next goal though, can Saka keep his cool, stay on side, he does, and when he gets the pass with Salah, he tucks it away, first time shot, and we do get a goal back in this game, and here, probably the best goal of this video, ball out to Saka, takes a touch, goes for the finesse, and finds the top corner, ridiculous, absolutely insane, from Bukayo Saka, from miles out, he has gone and found the top corner, and we do end up scoring. Here though, an assist to actually win us this game. We were 4-1 down and 
we end up pulling it back. Bukayo Saka 1-2 to Tielemans, who then smashes it into the near post. By the way, if you want to see a review on him, let me know down below in the comment section, and I will upload that shortly. But anyway, on to the next clip, we are here for Saka, not Tielemans, and Saka is going to score. Testing out the dribbling, gets around the goalkeeper, and on the right foot, tucks it away. Another brilliant finish, brilliant running from him, great skill to get past the goalkeeper, and he does score yet another goal. Here again, testing out Bukayo Saka's dribbling, He's going to get the pass here, he sits down Virgil van Dijk, gets back onto that left foot, turns onto the right foot for some reason and scores. No complaints, he scores eventually, although he did a lot of spinning before that, but who cares as long as the ball is in the back of the net. Here, a perfectly weighted pass from Bukayo Saka, Salah gets it, well gets onto the end of it and scores a pretty good chip shot header, which honestly I was pretty surprised by. But regardless, Bukayo Saka was a brilliant assist and he's going to get another one here, gets the pass into Kronos to closer. And closer slams that into the back of the net. Very good finish, but Saka with some very good passing, and we do end up scoring in that game. And we're gonna score another one here, another assist from Bukayo Saka, just perfectly weighted through the gap. Salah takes a touch and goes for goal and scores to make it 6-4 in that game. Anyway, moving on then, Tielemans gets into Bukayo Saka again. Can we create a chance here from nothing? We're gonna try and dribble this guy. Excellent left stick dribbling, and he holds off. Virgil van Dijk to get around him and score the goal. Very good strength from Bukayo Saka and we do end up getting a consolation goal. Moving on to the next match here, one of the last games of the video. Bukayo Saka has it. Can we create a chance here? Just going to test out the dribbling, see if he can hold up the play. And look at the dribbling, really good, close control, gets the pass into Tielemans and after all his hard work, his rewarded was an assist. Brilliant finish by Yuri Tielemans, but fantastic dribbling by Rukai Osaka and we do end up getting, like I said, an assist at the end of it. But anyway, not done just yet. Mascherano has it. He gets it in behind Saka. Can he use that pace? Get past his man. Yes, he can. I don't know if Kunia is going to catch up. I'm not going to take any chances. I'm going to spin him and turn and shoot and score. Brilliant finish from Saka once more, but great running to get in behind in the first place. Anyway, like I said, that was the last game, and so with that last game, it is time to review the card. And as you guys will see from the camp position, some really, really good stats 10 games and 17 goal contributions, 11 goals, and 6 assists from the camp position is honestly very, very good. And I couldn't really have asked so much more in terms of goal contributions with this card. But anyway, moving on to the actual details now, when it comes down to the pace with the Hawk camp style. It is very good. He is very, very fast, like you guys saw, easily able to run in behind and get past players with ease. So genuinely, when it comes down to the pace, I'm going to go ahead and give him a 9.4 out of 10. I don't think he quite deserves a 9.5, but most certainly a 9.4 is just about right. Shooting on the card, the long shots, well, he did actually score an absolute belter of a long shot earlier. So I can't really say the long shots are terrible, but the finishing is definitely pretty decent. He's able to tuck away most chances. The shot power on the card, despite getting the plus 8 from the whole camp style, isn't really the best. But he's still able to connect with the ball pretty solidly and tuck away his chances. So shooting is going to get an 8.5 out of 10. Passing is very, very good. The link-up play on this card is phenomenal. As you guys saw, the one goal um, where he got the pass from De Bruyne after sending him throw and go with a little ding over the goal keep I mean over the defender sorry so genuinely passing on the card is very good in my opinion he does deserve as well an 8.5 out of 10 dribbling is sensational keeps the ball very close to his body does very well to wriggle in our tight situations and I'm gonna go ahead and give him a 9 out of 10 defending is solid he puts in a decent tackle here and there don't expect him to win any headers he doesn't so defending does get a 7 out of 10 and when it comes down to the physical on the card he is going to get a 7.8 out of 10 because of his small frame he does kind of get pushed off it sometimes but you guys saw the strength to hold off Dennis Zakaria the 84 aggression really makes a huge difference with this card so physically he's going to get a 7.8 out of 10. Now is this card worth 100k? Yes 100% there's no other way to describe it he is honestly a pretty solid card a pretty fun card aren't really many uh, Bukayo Saka cards out there that you can use especially over the years in FIFA besides future stars a few FIFAs ago so genuinely he is a pretty cool card to use a very uh, new different card to use so if you guys want to get him have some fun put him in your team dribble around and just use that type of adaptive playstyle that he has he can basically fill in in many places for you striker cam sentiment so yeah this card is pretty solid and in my opinion he is worth the coins Best camp style if you are playing him as striker, a hawk, if you are playing him at cam, 
I would also say Hawk, but if you want him to feel better on the ball and you can give him the finisher himself, it will boost his shooting and the dribbling quite a lot. If you are playing him at center mid, definitely the shadow or actually definitely the anchor chem style because you want him to have an extra bit of physicality in that midfield. But anyway, best position in my opinion is the cam position with the Hawk chem style. That extra physical does make a pretty big difference. But anyway, with that being said, it is time to end the video. So if you like this, smash the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And until then guys, stay tuned for the next one. Peace.